Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got big news. We finally got it. Halo on PC. Halo on PC. Halo on Game Pass. Halo on Game Pass for PC. Halo Reach is the worst Halo. It doesn't... Well, Halo 4 is really bad. Halo Reach on PC or Game Pass. Let's go. 343 Industries are releasing every Halo game in chronological order. So we're starting with where it all began. Halo Rogue One. The prequel where an unlikely yet lovable group of rebels must make sure that this hologram is delivered to the good guys in order to restore hope to the galaxy and make sure that, you know, the, the real story can begin. Not everyone is going to survive. Um, some might, in fact, go down with the ship. Others might go down with a fight and make taken down at just as many people as possible. Some might get shot right in the face and some might get left on the planet's surface as this fantastic motif comes in that's like na, 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 na. Or, or like da, 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 da. Anyway, we're not here for the campaign. We all know about that. We got firefight and custom games if you're a scrub, um, and you, if you have friends to play with, uh, we're here for multiplayer. That's that's what it's all about. Now, as you guys all know, I'm, I'm a huge PC gamer. Um, I made the switch a while back. I used to be big into my consoles, but um, I've just had to have made the switch from controller to mouse and keyboard when it comes to shooters. Um, there's a bit of a saying that goes around in my circle that says, only scrubs still use the controller to shoot, and only non-scrubs by which I mean uh, elite gamers like myself understand this and like I just want to say that I'm blown away by Halo on PC it's just a whole different ball game it's a, a whole nother level um, the way you can pl play with a mouse and keyboard and it's weird it's funny actually it's creating this weird um, reminiscent feeling which is cool that it's the classic Halo that we know but it's been totally rewritten for the PC market you know, people like myself, elite gamers like myself. There are still the old tricks from Halo, you know, like the stickies. Um, people love to just stick you when you got them in a corner. You're about to make that kill and they just get you at the last second. I'm not hating, I'm just, <laughs> it's just funny, you know. It's just, um, but I'm, I'm myself pretty good with grenades, as you can see here. Um, the AR, is, it's not the best in Halo Reach, we, we all know this. Um, it's got, but it's good for crowding. If you've got crowded rooms like this, you're going to see her pick up a little double kill here. Um, no big deal. Like I said, the precision with the DMR being a single shot weapon is just, it completely changes the game as that's your primary weapon. Obviously the power weapons are all here too, so when you get um, your boy on the sniper, you know, <laughs> they hold me back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, the sniper, it's the same, it's the same thing, but with the sniper it's just on a whole nother level because you've got all that power behind you. Um, so if you see here, I'm going to get a few shots off and that's, that's going to be my spree there. Um, first of many, you know. So yeah, all the power weapons are here that you know. So I found actually that I'm pretty good with the rocket launcher. Obviously it's a powerful weapon, but it still takes some skill to get going. The pl This is the plasma cannon here. I just found that anything with a big damage, r damage radius, you know, with a good splash damage, I found myself really working well with that kind of thing. So I would hit that up if you get if you get a chance. Another thing that is just great, that great Halo feel that we're used to is the medals. Um, so I found that I was getting a lot of assist medals, which is an underrated medal in my opinion for a lot of gamers out there. But it's, it's one of my favorites um, and it's just, you know, that defining medal for team play. Um, so you're going to see a few of those in this gameplay. Um, but don't worry, I'm saving enough for the rest of these guys, you know. Um, assassinations, another one um, I found myself getting a few of, which is nice. Uh, you'll see a revenge and a headshot there. Uh, another little assassination there, that's nice. Sometimes you might want to go for the beatdown if you're in a hurry. Um, the killjoy, another one, just get this guy here, that's nice. Oh, more assists. <laughs> oh, stop, I can't take any more, boys. <laughs> no, one more then, go on. So you'll find that a lot of the problems that plagued Halo Reach on the Xbox just aren't really here anymore. It really seems like 343 have managed to optimize 
um, Halo Reach on PC. So things like bad spawns, spawn traps, they're completely gone. You'll never find that if you get killed, you're instantly getting killed again. The teams are always really balanced, which is important in the competitive space. You never want like a complete whitewash of a game. It's great to see that the game has been optimized for the PC market, you know, because we, as, as, a, as a group, we really care about that kind of thing. And it's not just the weapons that are bringing back fond memories of when you just were wrecking kids, but the vehicles too. There's the classics like the Scorpion, that's got all the um, the big power behind it. The Banshee is perfect for those swift aerial dodges and the movements. And then the Mongoose, which is the classic for like those flag caps. Nothing gets the blood pumping more than those, those last minute flag caps when you're on the back of the Mongoose, you know, you're running for dear life um, and you're just getting off to the base and um and you should securing that team win you know and that that's what it's all about i just really it's so refreshing to play halo with a player base that really just love the game you know who appreciate that halo is back after so long and now it's finally on the elite platform that we all wanted it on and just there's a lot of respect on all fronts and that really goes a long way so i'm gonna talk about a few differences that i've noticed in the game and action sack is a bit different to what i remember um, so there's this one mode where um, you're just all elites and you have unlimited jetpacks and unlimited concussion rifles. It's a bit of a crazy one, I mean, I, I wasn't super into it, it was a bit too hectic for me, but I mean, it's kind of fun, I was getting some nice sticks, just kind of messing around with it, you know, not taking it too seriously. I treat it more like um, a nice change of pace versus the ranked modes because um, you know, that's when I'm really expending all my energy. Another good one is this oddball game mode where um, it's oddball, but everyone has the grenade launcher. You know, I was getting some nice plays, a little trick shot here and there. I'm just having fun with it. That, I think that's the best way to play these games. SWAT. Now the big change, this this is some really big news, and actually this is gonna be a shock to some people, but I've got it, I feel like it's my duty to tell you guys about it. So 343 have added an insta-kill. Yeah, like, so headshots with the DMR are an instant kill, which is it's a bit of a controversial move, I've got to say. Um, and it might alienate some of the player base, and I'm, I'm not just talking about the elites, you know? <laughs> but what it means that 343 have implemented this is that players like me are just are going to have a huge advantage. You know, if, if you give someone with my reactions my reaction time an insta-kill, like, that's an asking for some trouble, and there might be some fallout that's gonna, some hate that's gonna, gonna be coming 343's way. Now, I don't want you guys hitting 343 forums and just trolling them, you know, I don't want, I'm, this, I'm not saying that for this reason. Don't get me wrong, don't get twisted, but this is, this is just, this could be a complete game changer, you know? Um, it's like taking, taking someone like me to the bumper cars and giving me the keys to a monster truck, <laughs> you know? Um, it's like, it, accidents gonna happen, you know? Like, but it's not my fault, you gave me the keys. <laughs> Classic. Fortunately, the player base on PC are, are a good bunch, so like, we'll adapt. Uh, that's what we do, and that's that's my main point. That's the main point that I'm trying to make from this video, is that the community is good. They're real players, real, real students of the game. You know, that's why I'm happy that Halo is on PC. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, Halo on PC is everything we've been waiting for as Halo fans. I'm just gonna say it. And I, c I can't wait for the next stage in the story when Halo Reach 2 comes out next year. Really excited for that one. Love love that game. 343 have, have done us proud, man. And I hope that we can do them proud and return the favor by hitting those 360 no scopes all day. Nah, they're actually too easy with a mouse and keyboard.